Hello students, in this lecture, I will going to tell you about the strategy for ITZ. How can you get maximum marks in ITZ exam? Do you know there are nearly 14 lakh students who are preparing for ITZ? But out of these 14 lakh students, only nearly 10 to 30,000 students get admission in IT along with good NIT's college and your dream must be IT Mumbai but the overall number of students which are in IT Mumbai in this particular years the seats are limited and they are nearly 100 in number and you all want to be in that 100 number so there are 14 lakh students and you want to be under 100. So in less time, what will be your strategy? How can you get your maximum output from the exam? And for the limited time, how can you get your maximum effort and maximum reward? Now, you must know your strength as well as your weakness. You must know the strength of other competitors which are taking examination along with you if you are thinking for itc that means all the aspirants who are who are thinking for itc have good command in calculation that's why they are taking engineering uh, engineering maths as a subject but do you know if rank oriented students do question if any question is hard, that means that question will be harder for nearly everyone. If any question is easy, that easy question for nearly everyone. So maths is not the deciding factor. Similarly, physics. In physics also, there is calculation. So those students who, who are good in calculation, they can do better in maths as well as physics. And they are giving maximum their time in these two subjects but they avoid chemistry because many of the senior or some teachers said that chemistry means you have to remember maximum thing but this is not true chemistry is a conceptual subject every subject have some information along in chemistry also there is some information in maths also you have to learn formulas in physics also you have to learn formulas but many seniors as well as teachers they think that chemistry have more exception but they are not more because if you think about the chapters if you think about the book which is the backbone of your itc that is the ncrt book ncrt book two thin thin size books in 11th class and two thin signed book in 12th class that means their theory their questions their exceptions are limited in numbers if you properly if you properly give time in concept if you pr properly give time in information you can analyze you can learn you can remember all the exceptions all the concepts but for that you will give time but are you giving time no you are giving time to calculation that means you are giving time to physics you are giving time to maths but when time is less and if, if you want more numbers in that case give time to chemistry and for organic chemistry there is a limited reaction and this particular this particular chart is the boundary of organic reaction there are only 201 chemical reaction which you have to study if you know the number that is 201 that means it is not in maximum you know the number it is 201 you have to give time to analyze to remember and to make these reaction in your mind for that you have you have to give time similarly in chemistry is similarly in chemistry for organic chemistry you there are some common names there are some name of amino acid structure of amino acids there are name of some polymers as well as structure of some polymers so if you remember the name common name if 
if you remember the total number of reactions if you remember the substrate reason product that makes your chemistry strength you make this chemistry stronger and you will get more marks in it z so my advice is if you have less time once again i am telling you it is my advice if you have less time and if you want to get more marks give or devote your time in chemistry chemistry will boost your rank if you ask with your friends if you ask it with your seniors they will surely say chemistry is a scoring subject when chemistry is a scoring subject then why are you not getting score in chemistry only one reason behind this that is you are not giving time in chemistry so devote at least 3 hours devote at least 3 hours daily basis for chemistry in that 3 hours you will remember all the information you will remember all the common names you will remember all the reactions for organic if you re you will remember all the abnormalities in inorganic and you can easily do physical chemistry calculations i do not want more than 3 hours i want only 3 hours if you give 3 hours chemistry 3 to 4 hour physics 3 to 4 hours maths that much time is sufficient for giving your best so think it give your time to chemistry it will boost your rank good luck good day